This question appeared in NEET PG 2018 and it talks about all of the following contributes to the negative charge on fibrinopeptide A and B. And your options are A. Leukine and Lysine B. Lysine and Histidine C. Aspartate and Glutamine and D. Serine and Threonine. Thank you for clicking to watch this video. There is a very important announcement. We have just launched our NEAT PG previous year question bank in a book format which is available on Amazon. Just go and check the description to know more about it. Now this question is basically asking you to identify the polarity or the charge of an amino acid because that will help it to contribute the overall positive or negative charge of the protein. So to answer this question, you have to learn about the classification of amino acid based on their polarity. And this is a very, very important topic. So many times question has been asked. So let's do it. Based on the polarity, we can have hydrophobic amino acid and we can have hydrophilic amino acid. When we talk about hydrophobic amino acid, okay, so these will have negative affinity towards water. So they will be all non-polar amino acids. When we talk about hydrophilic amino acid, they will have positive affinity towards water. So they also will be called as polar amino acid. Okay. Let's further classify this hydrophilic amino acids into there can be charged amino acid and then can be neutral amino acid. A very common question which comes in student brain is if an amino acid is neutral how can it be that hydrophilic? So there are some groups like OH or SH okay so in those groups amino acid which will have OH or SH this H may take a partial positivity and this O will take a partial negativity. Similarly, this S may take a partial negativity, this H may take a partial positivity. So overall this molecule is neutral, but they get this polarity inside them and that is why they will be polar molecules and they will be hydrophilic molecules. Okay? When we talk about charged amino acid, they are further classified into basic amino acid and acidic amino acid. Now acidic amino acid will lose their hydrogen ion and take negative charge themselves and basic amino acid will accept an hydrogen ion and itself it will become positive okay so now let's fill in which amino acid falls in which group so let's learn about hydrophobic amino acid so they are also called as bama group okay so b stands for branch chain amino acid so what are the branch chain amino acid we will have leukine, isoleukine and valine. All these branch chain amino acids are hydrophobic in nature. A stands for all the aromatic amino acids. So what are the aromatic amino acids we know? Phylalanine, tyrosine and tryptophan. Okay. One aromatic amino acid we know is a basic in character that is histidine. So histidine will come under charged basic amino acid. Okay, apart from that, all the three aromatic amino acids will be there. M is methionine and A is alanine. All these Bama group is hydrophobic in nature. Let's look at acidic amino acid. So there are two acidic amino acid, aspartic acid and glutamic acid. Very easy to understand. Okay. Let's talk about basic amino acid. So we have got histidine, we have got lysine and we have got arginine. Three very important basic amino acid. And rest everything is a neutral amino acid. Okay. So let's enumerate neutral amino acid. So we know for alanine we have a counterpart glycine. So it will be a neutral amino acid. For methionine, we have another SH containing uh, sulfur containing amino acid that is cysteine. It will even that will form. Both of these will have their amide partners. So asparagine and glutamine. Both of these will have negative charge. Uh, those both of these will have neutral. 
and then we have got OH containing group. Okay, so OH containing group, what are these? So we have got serine and threonine. So all these are neutral amino acids. Okay, now once we have learned it, very very important classification. If you remember it, a lot of questions can be easily answered in biochemistry, which are based on classification. Let's look at this. So when we are talking about a negative charge on a protein, so we need a basic amino acid because this basic amino acid will take the hydrogen ion and make the protein negative. So let's look at the options. So we know lysine and histidine both are basic amino acid. Okay. So the correct answer will be B. Okay. The correct answer will be B because both are basic. So basic what do they do? They themselves are positive. So they will take the negative charge and the protein itself will become negatively charged because it will give the hydrogen ions to the basic amino acid. So the correct answer is B in this case.